We told you that Tom Brady was official with model Irina Shayk, who happens to have been in a relationship with Bradley Cooper, the actor. They share a child together. And now we're hearing that Bradley Cooper is, quote, bothered by that. Really? Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Well, mm-hmm. you know he's a big Eagles fan. Massive Eagles fan. I do think it has uh. a lot to do with sports. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> I, yeah. do. I think, unfortunately, it boils oh down to gosh. not who Tom Brady is. I think it's more like, really? Right. Because she That's was with Bradley choose? Cooper when the Eagles and Patriots went at head-to-head in the Super Bowl, and she actively rooted against mm-hmm. Tom Brady. She in did. Game. He's Ooh. right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. There's pictures yep. of her at the Super Bowl with an Eagles hat on with uh, Bradley Cooper. Yep. Yeah. Oh, oh gosh. So it makes me wow. funny. Yeah. Uh, I, I think is that really the reason, or there's uh, something else? Like he's just jealous. That's a no, that's part of it. Matters, yeah. Yeah. I wouldn't care. I think that we would all be lying if we said it's you're not a when your former partner moves on with somebody else. There yeah. is a little bit of like, huh? <laughs> yeah, because it's like, wait, who is it? Okay, especially mm-hmm. if they're equally as good looking and mm-hmm. successful or more sure oh how could you not but what did notice? he say what did he say why did bradley what did bradley cooper say that he was bothered by did he say something specific or just in general bothered i by? think that people are just speculating or what, close to him or saying close he to him like or say, yeah that he doesn't like it well and they, it, they have yeah. a kid involved yes. but tom brady's like a good He's, family person yep guy i mean over people say good overly point. fatherly you yeah. know? if anything he seems like a genuine type guy a good mm-hmm. guy you know and probably got you know unfortunately his wife because he was too into something his own interest left him but it wasn't like he probably had an affair and a drug problem and right. all this other stuff right. yeah that would have came out by yeah now. I think that it's just a typical male ego, male yeah. ego, but jealousy. Yes. I think it would go probably go the other way. It probably will. You know, when for for Giselle, I'm sure she's probably looking at Irina, who I mean, they have the Victoria's Secret in in yeah. model background. I'm sure that there's probably like, oh, yeah, okay. oh yeah, I'm sure, you know. Yeah, so and think, then and then yes. also, I think the mm-hmm. the opposite would be true if let's say Giselle. Well, of course, the judo guy who we think or jujitsu guy. Yeah, the, yeah. That you know. The, she needs him on vacation with her. She has riding, to practice. Too. Oh, it horses. certainly seems like They're Giselle and the jiu-jitsu guy are hooking up, which mm-hmm. was part of hired help. Basically. I'm sure Tom wouldn't like that, but also maybe more so. Let's just say Giselle was dating Bradley Cooper. Yeah, I'm sure Tom Brady wouldn't be hype about no, it. No, he's. I know. I don't think it's in our human nature to just be okay with it. Yeah, I think yeah. you're better off unless it involves your kids. You're better off if somebody that is less successful than you. <laughs> yeah. then, you yeah. then it doesn't uh-huh. hurt as bad. But mm-hmm. then if they're a loser, you don't want them around your kids. Yeah, mm-hmm. and I'm reading here that uh, the person who, I guess, leaked the info said that he and uh, Bradley Cooper and Irina have been off and on yes, this have. whole time uh-huh. and said that he's concerned that Tom might be the one to take her heart away from him forever. Well, they should stay together. He can't have his cake and eat it, too. Yeah. Well, 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 we don't yeah. know who broke up with who, and maybe uh, Co- Mr. Cooper is in a We're very dire <laughs> Mr. <laughs> Dr. <laughs> Cooper. Mr. Cooper. Mr. Yes. Cooper. Dr. Mr. Mr. Cooper. Dr. Mr. Mr. Sir Cooper. Okay. Mr. Cooper, yes. You know, mm-hmm. we speculate ah. every other aspect of every other couple in Hollywood, and on this one, you refer to him as Mr. Cooper and say, we don't know. Specu- this is the line. I'm speculating. <laughs> yeah. I'm speculating that um, Bradley Cooper um, is really wants to be with her and is maybe having a tough time with this, and all of a sudden, she's going in and getting some other guy in. So well, it might not be have his cake and eat it, too, is my point. Oh, I think it could be if he's having a hard time. If he is having a hard time with it, the old saying is, S or get off the pot. Mm-hmm. You know, so he might if, want to, and she might be the one that keeps breaking it off. Who knows? We we, we won't we, fully know. We don't know unless mm-hmm. somebody actually talks about it. <laughs> right. Yeah. If she's the one that's dating all these, uh, like Kanye West, Bradley Cooper, Tom Brady. She what? seems like Ronaldo. The, she yeah, seems like the loose ball. cannon. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. if, off a dude, if this were Tom Brady dating all those women, you'd be like baller. <laughs> no, I wouldn't. Yes, you would. Yeah, you would do that. You would. Okay. Um, or if Mr. Cooper yeah. were <laughs> dating Mrs. Gaga or whatever. <laughs> Who's right. had his own string of beautiful he women. Has. Yes. Yeah. Baller. Yeah. Toxic. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All the above, Katie. Right. Yes. yes. Um, there are reports that she wanted more from Bradley Cooper and okay. was unhappy mm-hmm. that he spent so much time on set working. Mm. So if that's true, then she went she to people who oh, have even yeah. more Run, of a commitment. Tom. Yeah. Run, Tom! You better get away from Tom Brady then. There's somebody uh, that's going to like interfere with your career. Yeah. Run. Yeah. 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 He's going to be doing something. Whatever Tom Brady gets into, if he's going to be the uh, announcer guy, if he's going to be in a new business, he's all in. And that's going to definitely be 
a distraction for the relationship. It's like, and I know yeah. you had this contract with Fox Sports, but, but you're there too much. Like, oh my gosh. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We'll see. We'll see how it all pans out. It's I, I am standing by. It's not going to be a long term. Yeah, I think it'll be over before the end of the year. I think so too. Yeah, I think maybe this is just a summer fling. Mm-hmm. Yeah, then, I agree you know, with you. Yeah, um, the Barbie movie breaking all sorts of records. And if you have seen the Barbie movie, you are very familiar with Michael Sarah's character of. Alan and Alan is a Barbie uh, or a Ken doll version of a Ken doll that was discontinued. And uh, I think we have a little bit of a clip of yeah, yeah. Hello, hmm? humans. Ooh. We're fine. And Alan, <laughs> come into my weird house. Hi, I'm Weird Barbie. I am in the splits. I have a funky haircut and I smell like basement. Oh my <laughs> God, I had a weird Barbie. Yeah, you did. You make them weird by playing too hard. So you heard Michael Sarah go, and Alan, which is the theme throughout the entire movie, and apparently is the theme of Alan's whole life of existence being a Ken doll, because he was actually marketed, it was like a vintage doll that was discontinued, but actually marketed as Ken's buddy. It was Ken's buddy. <laughs> I, I oh, no, no, no backstory to it. Just, yeah. uh, she's the no forgotten backstory. Barbie. Yeah. I've never heard of it. Yeah. Yeah. Alan, yeah. and he also, um, on the box, it would say Ken's buddy, and then it would also say, all of Ken's clothes fit Alan. Like, Alan <laughs> doesn't have his own, you know? Me and my boys always trade outfits. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like, Squid, you're going to wear those under- these un- those undies those tomorrow? Undies? Yeah, can I wear your Crocs, Jim? Yes. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> yes, I wouldn't put may. my foot in those Crocs. Yes, yeah. you may. Um, so throughout the whole entire Barbie movie, Alan, who's played by Michael Sarah, the whole time he's like, yeah, and Alan, you know, like he's <laughs> right. trying to be I'm a here. part of all of it, you know, and stand for what everybody stands for. He's like, yeah, and Alan. But because of uh, he's become a fan favorite, the vintage Alan dolls have been selling for hundreds of dollars on eBay. Ooh, wow. I wonder if you have some uh, Barbie dolls in, that aren't even opened yet, and yeah. now they're oh, even I'm worth sure. more Ooh, because yeah. of the movie's so successful. I am sure. The key, though, would probably be the unopened. Like, they have to be in yeah. pristine condition. The ones that I've seen on eBay are all opened, and they are, like, in the boxes are so old that they've, they're they yellow, kind yeah. of, you know? Um, mm. And the Barbies, or the Kens, Barbie, Barbie doll Kens, um, Alan, he has like that disjointed, you know, like to be able to move his arms. It's like the disjointed uh, little. Yeah. It's like been separated a little you bit. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like now all the Barbies and the Kens are all one piece for the most part, and then they can move and they're pliable and stuff. But he had the the hips that. Oh. <laughs> I don't know. It's interesting. In to hindsight, see. as soon as we heard a little peep about the Barbie movie, yeah, you it might have been a wise investment to go out and buy a bunch of vintage. Barbie yeah. stuff and sure. and then once the movie came out and then you just hope and pray that the movie was going to be successful like mm-hmm. it is now mm-hmm. and I bet you it did go I bet you Dang, I bet yeah. you a lot of these prices went way up probably triple yeah. ten times well yeah the Alan thing I saw you know they were selling for like thirty bucks online now they're at least one hundred fifty or two hundred bucks well and yeah. one just sold uh, just the other night for four hundred and ten bucks wow yeah, for an some... old opened. Alan. Yeah, there's some like sets with Alan, like he has mm-hmm. clothes in a closet. And well, they're Ken's like... clothes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Alan ain't got yeah. his own clothes. <laughs> they made Alan's. So I'm going for like 500 well, or 475. Yeah. Well, wow. uh, Matt's dad did something cool for him when he was a kid. I think mm-hmm. I, sh- I should be doing this. I know. We should the, be doing this for our kids. Even with the, uh, 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 my kids have 400 of them. I can't think of the name. Anyway, I felt, and I hated this when I was a kid, but my dad would always go and buy, whether it was like the new Ninja Turtle toy or Power Ranger toy or whatever it was I was into, he would find them and always buy two of them. Oh. And he would let me play with one, and he would keep the other sealed in Ooh, the original box so and smart. put it away. How Genius. many different smart. toys Genius. unopened do you have? Um, That I've found recently, probably seven or eight that at the time were probably 70 or $80 toys that now Whoa. each of them are worth over a thousand dollars unopened completely. Wow. I, went, I went to a I went to a collectible shop one time just to get an idea, and I was like, "Hey, you know, the person working the counter." I was like, "Hey, I have these things. Is that I don't know where to begin? Is this something that I bring in and show you or what?" And he said, "We would absolutely be interested in that, but just let me know when you want to come back because we don't keep that kind of cash on hand." Oh, wow! wow. And he missed it before he that saw it. I just dang. told him what it was. That's pretty amazing. And let me just tell you before you even go to the collectible shop. Sorry, collectible shop. But they have to make a profit on it, too. So they're going to sure. undervalue it. You probably yeah. would have, if there's a way of some kind of site that you can have uh, proof of authentication, yeah. per mm-hmm. se, mm-hmm. you probably can get even more for that. Yeah, I, I found um, recently my old, old collection of all the Pokemon cards I had 
And oh. but that's the thing to be able to sell them yourself online, you have to get them graded. Mm. And the grading process itself per card is like twenty to thirty bucks a card. Oh. Jeez. You have yeah. to send it off, pay to send it off, pay to have it graded, and then if it doesn't come back with a high grade, it doesn't return the value for having it graded. Got right. Him. But still a smarter your dad to do. Oh, oh Funko yeah. Funko Pops. Funko Pops. Oh yeah. 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 The kids I I'm well, part of the Funko Pops for a lot of people, at least for they don't you're not supposed to open them. R- the ones in the stash, nose. Yeah. Yeah. I mean they use yeah. bigger to displays. I mean some you'll go by some uh, one of the guy used to work here, Ike had a bunch on his desk. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And I guess there are some downstairs that he just opened, but the, my kids, they they don't open them. Nope. And, and they have like 50, 60 of them. Might and, be worth and something. Years down the yeah. road, if it's some rare one, it could be worth something. Matt, but, you don't have uh, your dad didn't happen to buy you any um Nintendo cartridges that he kept unopened, did he? The Nintendo Ooh. cartridges, no. I do want to find the old Nintendo that we had, but I do currently have some Nintendo 64. I have a console and some controllers and some games that even open those games are worth over $150. Okay, Dang, because I, I think one of them, Super Mario Brothers, unopened, sold for $700,000. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. 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 Gosh, could you imagine if he did that for uh, you, Matt? Trust uh, me. Oh when my, my mom gosh. moved, I went through every single box she had looking for those things. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe we should start doing that, buying two Just, of everything. Everything. I guess. Sure. Yeah. Never know. Man. It doesn't seem the same. I mean, it's going to be years later, but yeah. 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 Retirement plan. And I know the deal you're talking about, Jared, with the Funko Pops. The way that those work is once a certain you know movie or show or something comes out and they make that Funko Pop, they only make it once. Right. So they make it, they uh-huh. make however many of them they're going to make, and then once it's made, it's done. So by the time you see it on shelves and out to purchase, that's all that there's going to be. So when you have it, there's a limited number of them. Because even so now, like, for example, like Stranger Things is so big, or yep. was, and yep. then they'll have another season coming out soon, or at some point. Um, there's some of the characters who became, they were surprisingly popular to mm-hmm. fans. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You can't find them, and people are already reselling for hundreds of dollars. Oh, yeah. And right. it's just the first run of them. And that's, the, that's a doll. Yeah. So I think dolls are more probably looked at as, as a possible collector's thing. Yes. It's the things that we don't necessarily, this is in my opinion, it's the things that we don't think of that are going to be collectibles to become more valuable because there's going to be way less of them. So, for instance, with mm-hmm. the Funko Pops and everything else, we already know there's a chance of doing that. So we're, a lot of people around the world are going to not open the boxes. But probably most people never thought of a Super Mario Brothers cartridge unopened would be worth so much. No. That, yeah. it, the demand is so high. So there's probably only a handful of them in the world. So that's what drove the value to be so high. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, scarcity drives it up that's exactly what's happening with the the allen doll nobody that it was yeah. discontinued because he was wildly unpopular <laughs> and, I mean, yeah. really was. Yeah. and then the movie made him popular and now people want their hands yeah. on the dolls that sounds crazy. Funny. it's true we do have um margot robbie that i say th- i think it's really interesting we've talked before about things that people buy with their first paychecks and margot robbie has a very interesting thing that she did with her first uh, big paycheck yeah everything i owed my mom i had it written down She'd take money out of like the, the house mortgage, lend me money. So I always knew I was like, oh, I gotta pay that back. And then one day when I made enough money, I just paid that whole mortgage off completely. I was like, Mom, don't even worry about that mortgage anymore. It doesn't even exist anymore. Wow. Honestly, anyone in my position, you'd, you'd do that for your mom. Of course you would. I would That's love awesome. to do that. Yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Instead, I'm like, um, Dad. I spent a little bit too much. <laughs> Dad, I need money. Credit card is due, and <laughs> the kids have to eat. Dad. <laughs> and then by the time you can pay your parents' house off, their house is already paid off. Yes, exactly. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. I'll pay the last payment. <laughs> I'll take care of that. You're welcome. I, and you can tell people I paid off their house. <laughs> oh, yeah. Look at that. <laughs>